Edward has gained the level. <laughs> like that, he's like, he's got 18 plus 20 right now because he's a fucking monster. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? Roman nuts? Then it just dawned on me. Yes, yes, that's... Okay, I'm reading that correctly. My brain didn't process it. I was more fascinated with the nut part than anything. Man, what an adventure we've what been on so far, guys. Building. Even with the temple, we can't feel the presence of the Lord's light. I can't believe I stepped foot in this place. Where all have gone, and all must go, to be the nothing that I was. I have borne to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no. I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope or George Herbert. If they have the power to do away with these evil Whoops. spirits, I'd choose anyone, even that dear old carpenter's son. You Blasphemous! So <laughs> Pagan! How dare you utter such words of sin? To seek help from someone you've never met before is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Heaven is <laughs> he was a little delayed on that. Like spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Don't be ridiculous. Why don't you ask the bullets who's being ridiculous? You idiots! Yeah, they're shooting at us. Edward, get your pipe. Sometimes I can't tell where I even am anymore. I'm just like, again, doing the, the Parasite Eve thing where I just smash my body up against everything and spam the X button. And whatever I can interact with, I'll interact with. It's a nice golem you got there. What the fuck am I even looking at? Either way, just smash it, Edward. When in doubt, when we don't know what it is, smash it. Want to get in front of me? Stab Armor Piercing Knife. Huzzah! James has gained the level. Give him some mine. He's got a lot of pie. That's that would get MP, but he, his other stuff is a little weak. Oh, okay. When I tried to open a monster's attack, I didn't even get to see the rest. It just skipped the first part of that. Oh, God.
Edward's got this. Oh, 908 damage. Yep, I think Edward got it. Don't worry. Holy fuck. <laughs> Here, do something. No one's used magic in a while. <laughs> no! Ow, 29. Somebody sting me? What was that? Is that a mosquito? Come on, man, that's rude. 55, look at that, you guys are getting stronger. Oh, hey, James. Flare! Zero. I kind of figured it wasn't going to do anything, but you know what? You tried. That's all I guess I could ask of you. I love that he hit 900 on the other guy. Edward with pipe is dangerous. Tougher. He's not going down as easy. Watch out, Edward. We gotta up your the one thing that helps you against being resistant to magic. That's the thing. Physical attacks barely hurt you, Edward, but uh, everything else. Well, <laughs> it's like, well, I can't do anything. I'm useless. Nope, don't heal him. I think it just said Edward's weapon something level just went up. I don't know what that just said at the top. It popped up so quick. Is he becoming more in tune with the pipe? James, he's not even really involved in this fight. That was unnecessary. Oh, okay. We've also learned the spell Tornado. We got things. Take that, things. But I'm like, at the same time, James isn't really my powerhouse guy. He's not, he's just kind of here. Edward, what does this do for you? Nothing? Ooh. We have to up a lot of your stuff, but you know, take it, Edward. Good pie and everything. I want it because I'm kind of becoming more like she's becoming more of a mage style character too. Give it to James because he's already kind of set.
Or do I give it to Edward so he has some kind of anything in magic? Man, the choices. Four pie would go to thirty five, so you'd get a lot of MP and things and intellect. I do like the idea of us both having some good MP, so you'll get it. Items. Tools. The hell does this do? Survives knocked out characters of <laughs> like HP get you up. Feeding the sound conscious person will wake them up and restore them to full health. HP and MP. Not plenty of cheese, though. Just give you health, too. Here's effects. Yep, that restores MP. Agility isn't really worth the jump right there. I'll wait until it's something we can get a little bit more of. Now you can get the earth pipe. This has a specialty of silence. Wind. It's dark. This could cause paralysis, but this could silence some. Either way, it's not a big deal. He's kind of just wherever right now. What a team we got going on. At this point, Edward's becoming how DK turns out when I give somebody the name DK. Op overpowered as shit. Good, I just used one, so. You see a pile of corpses. Ow. Ugh. One of those things and whatever the hell that is. Skeleton? I can't. It's in the dark. The monitor is so dark for this. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Edward is not going to move much with this weapon, but... Edward will kill! Flare, let me see some of that magic you got. All oh, right, he's dark. Why would I? It's a dark dagger, you moron. Don't hit him with this. It like dawned on me right as I went to do it. I was like, wait a minute, he's dark looking, so I don't. I would assume skeleton dark would not work. At least you did a hundred with that attack. With that uh, magic attack. I'm gonna run away now. How dare he touch you? I'll finish this. It's like Helm Splitter. It's like, no, no, Edward, you don't know that. That's not a move you can do, you just swing. Take this.
Ow. <laughs> Poor Edward got slow because we gave him this weapon, but you know what? He, he can take a beating, though. There's one thing Edward knows what to do is give and take beatings. Don't they get better with the weapon the more they use it? Because it's like he started out hitting weak with the pipe, but then he got, like, really good at it. Like he was doing more damage the more he used it. I don't know if there's, like, a proficiency system to that. Or it was just his really, really great luck. Take this! Take this! A little water for you. Let's find another grape here, though. Great, and six whole cheeses. Same one. One twenty. He was using the earth pipe to level two forty. So yeah, I think it, it, you can improve upon it. That's why he suddenly was hitting better, but. He gets better with those types of weapons. I'm understanding, slowly. Or it's all in my head. Oh! Give me back Rose! Wait, wrong game. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Hey! Edward. You should have just died, boy. I wanted you to lay down and die. <laughs> A ghost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A ghost? Where did you take Rose? Lucky you'd be able to get down if you had a ladder of some kind. Where am I? Where am I gonna find a ladder? Jeez, I'm lost. Help! I'm in the worst spot between camera switches. The problem is, I don't know where I've even seen a ladder, because everything just looks fucking... Blend it in in this game. Maybe you're a ladder. <laughs> it also looks to be a little chest over there or something. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? What are you? Hold our ground as it does whatever the fuck it is that it's doing. I really need a better rage weapon than this pistol. Revolver. Go get it, Edward! Oh! 
Oh, jeez, your, your pipe broke. James, whatever shall you do? The almighty pipe! It's broken! Luckily we have a hammer, so it wasn't that big of a deal. This pipe broke. <laughs> oh. Is there a durability that I didn't realize? I mean, I, there's a lot of shit I'm missing here, but it's all right. I'll figure it out. 340. And that makes more sense why I keep getting the same weapons multiple times. I guess they break over time. getting there, James. I don't know what the fuck you are anymore, but you're, we're gonna eventually figure out what you'll be. Bit of a decrease. We don't use this for right now. Use one of these. The human bones scattered everywhere. Locked with a four digit combination. <sighs> All numbers have been set, nothing happened. You'll have to try a different combination. I wouldn't know where to even begin finding the combo, but it sure as shit was not 6969. I'm waiting for the game that it actually does do that. Goodness, this building is full of dead bodies and skeletons. Yeah. It's full of ghosts and spirits. Oh, I can feel them. Oh, my head hurts. I got a bad feeling about this. Horrible. Dear Lord, please save these lost souls. This must have happened a long time ago. Oh, and the power is so strong. If I can channel some of these spirits, maybe I can find out what happened here. Channel the spirits? Shame on you. You two should be praying for their souls. The spirits floating in this room. I can let them possess my body so they can talk. Oh, the reason I came here is I heard the cry of one particular female voice. She was... I will not stand for this. Not only do you not believe in God, but now you're going to disturb the spirits? Shut up! Would you stop bothering me? Oh, oh. Chains and darkness. Oh, oh. death. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, there were so many of them. He <laughs> keeps looking at Edward like, what the fuck is happening? What's going on? Oh, they were imprisoned and tortured and oh, thousands of them. Kill them! They cut off my fingers. They crushed my legs. They smashed my head and cut out my guts. They took everything from me. They locked me up and chopped my body. Yeah! Oh, my eyes! Oh, my ears! Oh, they're burned! Help! Help! How long have you known her? <laughs> I don't know, an hour? How horrible. This place used to be a prison for hundreds of years kept in secret 
Whoever went against the authorities or misconducted themselves in any way were locked up here and killed. No! Don't touch me! Every time, you Edward. Piss off! Go to hell! <laughs> Edward, stop trying to touch. Right? It's not working out for you. Well, anyway, that happened. It might have been popular 30 years ago. It's a very good old-fashioned dress in here. You see a dresser. Okay. Bed is covered with dust. And there's bad guys. Can't forget the bad guys. Oh, God. not this thing again. Get away. Take this. Well, either way, you'd have to use this weapon because the pipe broke. this. This is water. Watch out! It's gonna kick you! Like, no, it goes for a weird, like, head-slash-body bump. Continue to push it right away. Get away! It's trying to cast something! Ew. Nasty. Without our amazing pipe, we're not as strong as we once were. I wish I knew what their HP was at. I don't want to waste doing a spell on someone who's only got like 50 health left. Nah, it's gonna cast again. It's gonna puke all over me with its weird upper body hole. Ow! Damn, Joe K. I don't think James is okay. James took the uh, hard blood of that one. Mm. I have whiskey to get him up if I really need to. I don't know if to get up to one HP after a battle. Sometimes the games do that, some don't. Anyway, we'll figure it out. James, you just rest. It's been a long day for you. Give you some cheese after. Good, James, you're all, you're back to normal, it's okay. Yeah, I saw something pop up, but I have no idea, I think it said I leveled up using the thing. It pops up for like a split second, it said my name, and then that was it, and I was like, I don't even know.
Ames, I think you're gonna sit back with a fucking pistol. You're weak as shit, too, because you're, like, a level behind, but also just... You, you sit back with a pistol and cast spells or do nothing in the back. Yeah, how many bullets do we get? We got, like, 71 rounds. I mean, we probably burned through that. That's the only problem. I feel like I, the moment I give it to him... I'll wait. We'll just give him a fucking... Let's keep him with the thing for now. Give him the vital hammer. Then he can at least have some HP. Then I'll give him a piece of bread. He's good. See a closet. Do you want to open it? Sure. There's a mummy dressed in a wedding dress inside the closet. I look at it, it opens its eyes and suddenly attacks. I kind of figured. <laughs> Who's getting married? Hmm. Here comes the bride. Edward, you didn't tell me you were getting married. <laughs> Go, Edward. What you doing there, mummy? Ow, ow, oh, Jesus, fuck, Christ. what the hell? <laughs> Threw a barrel and a bunch of fucking boxes at me. <laughs> Really got this, James. Good nine damage on that fucking flare. Turns out fire's not really the move. I get the feeling this isn't what I want to hit you with, but you know what? Just to try. I kind of figured. I had pretty much the right idea there. I was like, I don't think I want to do it, but just that my curiosity gets the better of me. Just uh, switch out your weapon. the pistol for now. Oh, no, not again. Who are you going to throw? Ah, oh, fuck, shit, god damn it. It's like, stop. Stop throwing things. James, are you ever going to get to move? What happened to you? Are you all right? <laughs> I know you're slow with this hammer, but fuck. <laughs> you're taking your time. Eleven damage. Yeah, this gun is not gonna do what we need it to do. You don't. Now lick the blade. 
slowly. <laughs> what? You do what Edward wants. Got a ring. And know the spell Megalith? Huh? Congratulations, you've gotten a ring. It does. Oh, of course. Still think that might be not a bad idea to give to, uh, to Edward. I almost called him James. The other guy, Edward, just because it does, I think, what was it, the pie or the mine, whatever one gives you increased resistance to magic damage and, uh, as well. And he could use something, because he, he, once he gets hit with magic, he's literally going to get fucked, so... I think for the time being, he should get a good balance on that one. It's not like he's using magic as anything, but just, uh... <laughs> it's for the other thing. Alright, well, that was fun. Anything else in that dresser? In that closet? Aha! A rope ladder! I'm glad I looked back in it. Because I would have walked away and been like, where the fuck's this ladder thing they want me to find? And it was there the whole time. Hmm. I still want to know what this four-lock combination thing is. I don't know where I could find it, and I'm going to forget about it, and I don't think it's in this room. Just more enemies in this room. It's like, how are there so many in here? Oh god, that makes sense. The furniture is attacking. G -g Ghosts. Got this. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do with you? I mean, you can just hit him. Uh, have you attack, I guess. Smash that furniture. Watch out, James! It's furniture! thing in the way, so, and I can't attack because I already did fire, so I'll just sit there. Chop it up. Chop down the furniture. James is going to be able to make it to over here. Smack! Fire worked well, but how does water deal against furniture? <laughs> Dink! Oh! James looks content with himself. Eh, whatever. I have gained a level.
Edward has gained a level. I don't need to worry about Valley Heal it and the characters max MP is that. That uh, and intelligence. Powerful their attacks. Yep. I want too high of pie or whatever, just because of that, but that does character's resistance to opponent's magical attacks, so we definitely want his pie to go up. That James is a wuss. Here's some Roman nuts. All the paintings have all the paintings have been painted in what looks like blood. Be out here before I'm attacked again. Uh. Oh. For combination, it's not six hundred or six thousand or whatever I just did. Found the guard's diary. Look. Um. Read. First June 1716, it's been two months since I left Canterbury owing to my owing to my stay at St. Clair's Lord Webster had said or well St. Clair's period. There's a period there, don't skip that. Lord Webster said that the weather would be warm at this time of year, but it's still brisk in the fishing villages lining the coast. After days of being knocked about in a carriage, I finally arrived in Imitan prison, an evil looking place leering down on a barren plain from atop a cliff battered by the chill sea breezes. But Webster told me to keep the strictest confidence. I cannot say what lies within this old lonely building. Only that while I am yet young I have been a I have been a guard many years, but I have never seen nor heard of a gowl built uh whatever that is, built in a place such as this. Lord Webster didn't tell me much about the prison's history. It is easy to imagine the, the part this foreboding place played in quieting conspiracies and political struggles. Although I do not look forward to spending my days here, I have no choice. My family depends on it. Sip of water now. Second of Jude, 1716. Mitan Prison, a hell on earth. While conditions here are no worse than Newgate, they are no better. I had imagined it would be so, but imagining a thing and actually experience it are very different. I shudder to think of the countless souls imprisoned here over the centuries. There are many people from the walk from all walks of life here, from members of the pale, removed from contention for an inheritance, to simple barbers locked away to prevent them from repeating what they innocently heard while performing their jobs. Locked away and tortured and killed, my research into the prison's records showed that only a select few of those sent here were ever convicted of a crime. This is not a simple prison it claims to be. It is rather simply a dungeon, where those in, a pow in power seal away those without it who stood in their way. How ironic that this place built as a house of God should become a house of horrors, forsaken by him. 3rd June, 1716. I have discovered something nearly impossible to believe, because I do not wish to. According to the prison records from 1632 to last year, 
Over 8,200 people have met their maker within these walls. And these have only... These are only those who, for whom there are records. How many more hapless souls... I feel like they should have been helpless, but I guess not. I don't know. I don't I think I've ever said... Hapless souls have died locked away here with no one even caring. I guess it is older style of it. I just don't hear that. Today, I was ordered by the warden to watch over the prisoners in the West Wing. Although this is my first assignment since arriving, I do not look forward to it. This is different from punishing some simple beggars. What sort of man could take pleasure in beating women and children? Received a letter from Mum in Southampton today. She complains that I wasn't able to attend my sister's wedding. Apparently, she marries a Gibbs boy, one of the wealthier land-owning families in the area. I'm sure she'll be happy. She's been brought up well, and she had no problem fitting in into even a gentry family. It seems just like yesterday she was a baby, following me around clutching her favorite little doll. I'm fiercely proud of her, though. Even though I'm worried she may have been pampered a bit too much, I wish her the best of luck as she now starts her own family. 5th June 1716. We began qu the questioning of Prisoner 27 today. The warden tells us he was instructed to do so by one of the nobles currently in favor with the crown. He looks to have been a man of good learning and some standing. He broke down and cried like a baby after the iron was pressed into his chest. Knowing he'll never be released, we need not take care to leave him whole. I am used to using water or a rack, something that would not leave a mark for such things, but here there's no purpose, no desire to convert, convert or help either bring them penance. Here the punishment is only meant to cause as much pain as possible until death. Yeah, because they're not letting them go anytime soon. Uh, that's one place this is. What a great vacation. A job is a job, and while I have no intention of taking it up with the warden, I still have information about what we do here. After all, we are still normal... Family employees of the crowd getting paid to inflict pain on others. Are we no different from common ruffians? Can't wait till this turns on you. July 6th. Torturing people has become a daily routine and there are no shortage of... I don't know why it went that. That's not what it did. No shortage of tools here. Whips, chains, iron maidens, Spanish boots, ages, spiders. Even some I had never even seen or heard before coming here. I must admit I am impressed at the ingenuity of the human mind. And the way that it can create such a myriad of ways to inflict pain upon others or upon another living being. But which is worse, those who think of such devices or those who use them? All those we torture beg us to kill them, but we instead keep them alive that they may suffer more. There is no rest for them. Not now, not ever. 14 August. Received a letter from Mum today. She says my brother is wanting to go to some fancy school in the East and needs money. Why he would want to go to such a place is beyond me. Imagine, a university graduate in our family? I wonder what Pa would think. I know she gets some money from my sister's family, but I'm sure she doesn't want to always be asking for handouts from her daughter. I want to help. I want to do as much as I can for my family. 31st of August, the mad woman in solitary confinement has died. If there is such as thing if there is such as thing as fate, she must have been born under an unlucky star. She was a merchant's daughter whose hand had been promised to the heir of a wealthy family, but he had a change of heart and abandoned her. He eventually married a nobleman's woman or daughter and was adopted to the family which had no heir. He was brought here to keep her out of the public eye. She kept the wedding dress she never got to wear until the day she died. I wonder, who is more insane, her or us? Hmm, I wonder who I just killed in a wedding dress. <laughs> 26th of September. A strange rumor is making its round among the prisoners. God, this goes for a while. The number of people who say they have seen a sign from God in the night sky is growing. And the other guards believe there is such a thing, but such rumors are often a sign of trouble. I hope nothing happens. 3rd of October. Torture, pain, and death. Is filled the days of all who live here. I have come to envy those who quit living. Dear God, have mercy on my soul. I did not come here to become an executioner. I have pleaded with the warden to have pity at least on those suffering from illness, but he turned a deaf ear upon my 
please. In the end, there are only two things people care about, power and money. They who have you have Jesus. They who have it use it. They who do not only suffer. Thirteenth of October. I feel as if I'm losing my mind. I can no longer bear to hear the screams of those trapped here. Could I help them? Could I help them? I would, but since I cannot, I do not wish to share their confinement a moment longer. Were it my choice, I would quit this place at once, but my family looks to me for support. Also, I cannot let Lord Webster, who found me this job, down. I must repay his confidence in me. The other guards say that I will grow used to it soon enough, that I should not let myself be affected by gravities. Can they not hear the screams? I understand now. They are as mad as any of the prisoners. That then is my fate. I too shall end up mad, just like them. 29th of October. Oh, and unto... Unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a loin and a... Or a lion, not a loin. What the fuck's wrong with me? A lion and a bear met him. Or went... I guess I just really wanted it to be loins. I guess I know where my brain's at today. Or went into the house and learned his hand... Leaned his hand on the wall and serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. Oh, boy. 1st November, 1716. I am writing this after having been awakened by gunshots in the middle of the night. There are screams of joy and anger throughout the building. We are being attacked by an armed band. An armed band. Apparently the sign of God the prisoners have been discussing was actually a signal from people outside the prison plotting to aid their incarcerated friends. The freed prisoners are going mad, killing the guards and the other staff. Their positions reversed. They flee for their lives, but are hunted down, beaten, killed, and even burned alive. I find a strange satisfaction watching them. They who were so drunk on power and wealth, dying like insects at the hands of those they thought they were masters of. The mob is sure to make its way here in time. The time of our, my judgment is upon us. Do not grieve for me, dear sister. I will welcome them with open arms as a fellow sufferer and sinner. Even now I hear footsteps there outside my door. They. Oh, boy. What a, what a happy, happy diary that was. I struggled horrendously. Oh good, this thing's this fucking ball thing. I don't even know what the hell it is. I don't know what I'm looking at. This is such a happy game. <laughs> Zero. You think you can hurt me? Here you go, Edward. Gotta shake it violently. Zero. Mainly was just used to silence me, that son of a bitch. He didn't stand a chance. Ah! James, you suck. But also, again, I don't know if the, he was he's resistant to that stuff. But still, I'm gonna blame you, James, because you suck.
Ow. Don't hit me and think you could just run away. I just assumed this thing's resistant to water. She seems like, I did it. Thank you, God. Like, well, thank him, but your powers suck. Oh, I got a board. I got the thing DK feels every time he's in the stream. <laughs> like, no, it's not how, uh, whatever. An earth board. His intelligence increased a little bit. At least now he can maybe do some more magical damage. Poor guy is fucking terrible. Either I'm missing it or they don't give you a lot of save spots. I use the rope ladder. Probably missing. I'm, I'm like, I only seen the one holy water spot. I have not seen a way to save this game, and like, since I found James, holy cow! Dynamic Duo has returned. I never read up what the hell this move is, but you know what? Let's do it for fun. Really should look into my abilities more. Watch out, Edward! Oh, that doesn't look like a six. That looked like it would have done more, but it's just like, eh. It's overselling it. I thought that wasn't going to do anything since it was doing that from below. I was like, watch it just miss. So we know that, that that stuff doesn't really work well on him. <laughs> Understandable. That are really, James, you we gotta get you some we gotta get you some things. Dear Lord. No, you silenced me again. Just up nothing but luck on James and only luck. No! His weapon broke! Is that just a chance or is there a durability? Edward, you've become mortal again. You're no god. Ow, okay. It's not really working, buddy. Stop it.
Is I'm really finding out you don't do a lot. <laughs> His heart's just not in it. what anything is. Hey, I'm here now. I could not tell. Something's not right. I love when you constantly tell me that. I think that's the thing that would help me with that key. I already figured out the code. That's all right. Oh, what the hell? How you feel about water? Okay, you I mean not surprised. Given what they are. Look at that, he got two swings in. When the hell does that happen? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. I mean, that's just rude. Yes, you. <laughs> They keep going after the one that can kind of take the magic. Smack. Got a strong heel. All right, I'm wearing like an earth armor. They healed me. <laughs> I think I'm wearing earth armor, so that just healed me instead. <laughs> Edward's like, what happened, James? Why are you hurting?
not sure what magic to use on them. I'm like learning things. Apparently you can hit multiple targets. I've never been able to do that. Now I'm starting to swing more than once. I'm learning things. Should do not attack James. A real nice guy. It's gonna hit James. Yep, James. Oh wait, you're still in there. You had eleven. And he hit you with the like. God, their ghost James person sucks ass at spells too. You inherited the worst guy. you can heal yourself. Everything else you seem to do, James, is never correct. Stop. Smack. Just blocking some things. Look at you, tough guy. At least you hit the right guy with magic this time that could actually get hurt by it. James, you finally hit over, like, 20 damage in your magic. Oh my god, it's because <laughs> we finally used the right spell, I guess. Poor guy's been hitting, like, 20s, and it's not really working for him. Again, the guy you should really be hitting that with is Edward. Doesn't exactly have the best protection when it comes to that. Well, 
love the smack. Just the, ah. Yeah, see? It doesn't do anything. I just wanted to show you that it's wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it, Edward, stop! He's so strong, he's breaking his fucking weapons! Oh my god, Edward, we're gonna run out of weapons! You keep breaking- you- God damn it, just fucking healed. Edward's gone through so many of his weapons. He's breaking everything. God, magic hurts Edward so much. Quick, cheese! Throws a thing of cheese into his mouth. <laughs> Wanted one more, but okay. Fucking beat him with this stick. One guy. It's a fucking ghost. Not even a boss. Being a real asshole. Poor Edward keeps breaking. Well, we need to get more weapons. Edward keeps breaking them all. So powerful, he just shatters them over his opponent. What a mess. I got those now, and we have revive high potions, too, and that stuff. God. Finally, a save. We haven't had one in so long. Not since we were little level threes in the herb garden.